Hi, welcome to product review by Robojax. In this review, we are going to have a look at this module, the back boost converter based on this chip LTC3780, which they have made a back boost converter module that can handle up to 10 ampere. The module has fault LED here, this LED, when something, when the voltage is below the set value where you can set it with this potentiometer, it will turn on and also when you set the current, when the current reaches up uh, to the threshold value that you set, it will turn on and it will turn off the output voltage. When the board detects fault, it will blink. This is, uh, I, I tried the test which I'm going to show you. This failed. Now output is 6 amp. As you can see, let me turn it off. First one died when I was just adjusting the minimum voltage while the system was on. When I was adjusting the voltage, it just died. This one died when, when I increased the current from 8 ampere or 7 ampere to 9 ampere. When I increased the current, this is the second module that died during the test. The first one, when I was adjusting this potentiometer, died. And this one, it was 8 ampere when I went to 9 ampere, even at the input where we very low current, still it just smoked and that's it smoked and as you can see this is dead and i was reading online a lot of other people have complained about it and this module is failing because the design is bad or the component i'm sure the actual chip is good because it is from analog device very trusted manufacturer but the module design is very very bad if you want to have a look at the test that I did, you are welcome. But before doing anything, I can tell you that this is total failure. Do not waste your time buying this and do not purchase it. This is the module and so many websites are selling it. Uh, either this heat sinks are black or golden color. Here is the golden heat sink version. Do not worry, the same title is everywhere. So you will see this to input output terminal and also you see this potentiometer. So as soon as you see it, do not buy it. And this is the thermal image for that. As you can see, it cools down and heats up almost 180 degrees. And that is when this turns off. You see the current 100 milliampere and then zero. So it becomes three watt and then 0 0.9 watts. And that causes this main chip to heat up. It's very hot now. And here's the latest picture. It shows 138 degrees Celsius when I took this picture. In both cases, this chip is heating up and this is heating up. So a failed module. is sold on eBay and AliExpress at different prices as you can see here $11.16 this is about $9.50 US or $10 with $3.60 shipping which you will receive it in 60 business days otherwise you can pay a little higher about $25 and you can get it quickly from your local store here is the module we have here the input you will connect your input power here and these two terminals on this side, these are the outputs. And here we have a 15 ampere fuse at the input to protect the device. We have four MOSFET here, two here and two here. They have also a heat sink. The main chip is in here. We have a L7805, the five volts regulator here that supplies a voltage for this device. And yeah, we have two a resistor here 0 0.07 ohm resistors for current sensing and we have three t uh, potentiometer here this is to set the voltage this is to set the maximum current and this is for setting the input limit voltage for some um, applications you want to have certain voltage if the voltage goes below that you want to shut this off there's a data sheet for the chip LTC3780, this is from analog device by linear branch of analog device. The input voltage can be 4 to 36 volts. This is a VN. 
it is a back boost converter as you can see so you can increase the voltage or decrease the voltage and the output voltage accuracy is 1% between 0.8 to 30 volts the chip is offered in two shape this is a G package like this 24 lead plastic or it is offered in UH package where it is squared here in this module that is sold as you can see the chip is squared shape UH package there are different models and the, the model that I have it says IG LTC 780IG and this uh, letters at the end determines the temperature range I will provide you the link for the data sheet in case if you want to have a look at it further here is the golden heatsink version and here as I was reading on Amazon this is a rating on from a customer it says I've I've bought few of a dozen so far I had three dead out of the box first three I powered up fail immediately as soon as I turn up the input voltage past 30 voltage the first burned up the second just quit right away and the third has red fault LED comes as soon as I turn up the voltage are we not rated for more than 20 volts DC as per specs I'll be sending the whole lot back to Amazon so this is true because mine just burned and uh, it, it's total failure and here is another rating purchased two boards both boards came faulty out of the box tried to figure out the source of the issue but still both will not work can't believe $50 down the drain this type of packaging with golden heatsink this is the electronic load DL3031 and these are the two terminals that from the circuit will be connected in here and we will see the voltage here and the current this is the input this is the output this is connected to electronic load that I have just shown you and this is the input which is here coming from this ampere meter and power meter the input the main input of these two wires are connected to my power supply you will see the input voltage in here this is the voltage that is coming to this module the output voltage from here is displayed in here we will be able also to see the current in here and if you multiply these two we will also see the power here because the current is now zero the power also shows zero now the first thing that I'm going to do is to check the voltage for example right now as you can see the output of this is set to 17 volts let me adjust it and make it 15 the input is 6 volts and the output is 0 0.8 let me reduce this input voltage and see if it is holding this 0 0.8 So the voltage is gone and I can see here the uh, fault LED is on now this has no effect let me increase it at So we need to have 4.2 volts in order to get 0 0.8 volts. I'm, I'm increasing it. Going to 30. 
and as you can see still that is holding let me now increase output voltage pay attention here So the maximum voltage that we are getting is 29.7 so 300 millivolts something like that so the maximum voltage that we are getting is 29.7 with 30 volts 30.6 volts as, a, as an input and now here i'm demonstrating the minimum input uh, as you can see this is the output output is set to 24 volts and input is 4.2 at the moment and uh, let me reduce it as soon as this voltage drops we know that that is a voltage that it will not work below that as you can see the voltage dropped at 4 volts meaning it will not work and this light this LED is now on so I'm setting it back so at 4.3 as you can see it will work so the minimum voltage that that you can set is 4.2 but ab above that you can set it using this potentiometer now let's say you want to set it to 12 volts and anything below 12 will shut this off so first let's set this to 12 volts okay now I set the input to 12 volts now I'm rotating this potentiometer I'm rotating this clockwise like this until this LED is turned on or until the voltage drops that is where I know that the that's the minimum input voltage And as you can see the voltage stopped and here is the LED on now I have to go backward until this turns off and the voltage recovers the output now it is off and the voltage recovered now this is my voltage that this module will accept at the input now if i reduce the voltage you will see that this led will turn on and it will shut off the output so 11.8 volts as you can see it turned it off anything above 12 it will have no effect and as you can see the output is stable so using this you can limit your input voltage now I'm setting it back to 5 volts to set it to 5 volts I'm rotating counterclockwise until this LED turns off and then just turn left and that is the value now I've set the input to 12 volts and the output is 24 volts I've set it to 2 ampere let me turn it on now the load is this module is supplying output of 2 ampere 24 volts and it is 48.32 watts and here is the input current so 12 volts and 4.21 ampere 
at the input now let me increase it to 3 amp as you can see now let me increase it to 4 ampere as you can see this now increased to 9 instead of 8 8.9 4 ampere is very normal for this let's go to 5 so we are getting 5 and 119.9 watts at the output and here at the input we 3 so divide output this divided by this you get the percent uh, times 100 that's the efficiency let's go 6 now output is 6 amp as you can see it's smoke it's smoking let me turn it off the fault LED is now on here the output is shut off This has, uh, you see, fluctuating the output. The output is now zero. Because this is now fluctuating, turning on and off. So it seems the module is dead because we don't get any output voltage at the moment because this LED just goes on and off. You see here. And I did not. Let's set the current. Maybe the current limit is causing it. Now I'm at the maximum, rotate it. When the board detects fault, it will blink. When the limit reaches for current and voltage, for example, minimum voltage or maximum current, it will just turn on and stays on. To check the temperature, I'm using the Seek thermal camera with the app with Android version I purchased it from Amazon I will provide you the link below this video and as you can see we have an input voltage of 12.16 and automatically we see zero volts at the output uh, pay attention here Okay, I don't know if you hear the click. I'm rotating it now until this LED is off and you will see the voltage here. Now the green LED is on and now this is working. 
The reason for that is that the minimum voltage was set to be different. Now it works with 12 volts. So we have to know that we have to set the input voltage limit from here, otherwise you will never get output voltage. Here with 30 volts input, 12 volts output, 4 ampere. As you can see the voltage drops 800 about 700 ampere. If I continue like this, it can uh, supply now 5 ampere, but the problem is that I have to adjust it manually and that's a big issue. Let's go with 5 ampere. 120 millivolts drop. 5 ampere. Let's assume that we accept that. Let's go to 6 ampere. Let's go to 7. Let's go to 8. Now this is running very cool, as you can see input is 3.4, but that is not important, pay attention here. The output is 94 watts divided by input 1.04, that's 104 watts, and then multiply by 100 will give you the efficiency. Very cool. Warming up. This portion is getting hot. Nine ampere watts at the input and 104, as you can see. So if you divide 104.6 by 119, that is the efficiency. 0.38 volts voltage drop. The thermal image, 90 degrees. Celsius at this white spot and if you pay attention to the module this is the left side of the module and now as you can see here at this spot this is showing 125 degrees very hot smoked and as you can see this is dead Thank you for watching the review presented by Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, you may subscribe now. The module length is 76.5 millimeters. The width is 44.9, perhaps 45 millimeters. Depth of the, depth of the module is 12.7 millimeters.